Okay, so we're just going to have some practice here working with percentages. So if you were asked, like in number one, what is the percentage, a certain percentage of 54, how you would find these is by multiplying. And this is true that whenever you have fractions or percentages, if you need to find a fraction or percentage of a certain number, then the key thing to do is multiply. And this is true if you were asked what is one-third of 15, well you would multiply 15 times one-third. This would give you 15 over 3, which is 5. And so the approach for percentages would be the same way because percentage is just another way to express a fraction of a certain number. So here with number one we are asked to find what 36 percent of 54 is. Well you can't multiply by a percentage straight off. First you need to convert the percentage to a decimal. And since 100% is 100%, you can get rid of that percent sign and convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100%. And this will give you 0 0.36 here. And now this, you can multiply by 54. And when you do, you find that the answer is 19.44. What about number two? 60 is 15 percent of what? So now we're asked to find what is the bigger number. We're kind of going in the reverse direction. So that kind of gives a clue about what we need to do. First, we need to convert this to a decimal. So this will be 0.15. And if we need to find what 60 is 15 percent of, then we would divide by 0.15. And when you do, you find that the answer is 400. And you can check this if you want to be sure. 400 times 0.15 should be 60. And when you do that, you find that it is. So this is our actual answer here. And this checks. Okay, number three is like number one. What is 70% of 93? Convert this to a decimal. This gives us 0 0.7 times 93. 0 0.7 times 93. And the answer is 65.1. And then number four, it's like number two, we need to find what 14 is 88% of. So we know that this will end up being 0 0.88. To find the answer, we take 14 and divide by that. And our answer is 15.9. And that's working with percentages.